0x29 cent, soon. Overt here said, what's up? Overt here said. Overt here said, oh my. Is it broken? Is it broken? Oh, okay. I think I broke it, but I just think I fixed it. Is that better? Sorry. How's it going? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, ah, okay. So maybe 29 couldn't hear me. <laughs> Oops. Well, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Oops. All right. So, uh, what are we doing? So how you doing? So what do we got? OpenGL star, the planets. Overt here said, I'm good. Cool. Okay, so one thing I need to do also while I do this, since we're working on the saving stuff. Um, so let's... Number of moons per planet. Okay. Because I realize <coughs> maybe we won't do that at the same time. That's a little bit more in depth. Let's go back to <laughs> init data. Okay, so when we initialize the planets here, 
Save index of planet, terrain parameters. <clears throat> then we just want to generate, this is easy right here, generate random palette of colors for planet. it. We generate a random palette of colors. Uh, let's save this as 150 because I'll probably break stuff. But it is, this is an easy, relatively easy task, but that's what usually causes me to break stuff is doing easy things the wrong way. Making mistakes. Okay, and let's note this down here. Is today the fifth? Oh, okay. So we're going to go class planets 150 inch. Added palettes. <clears throat> so we need to do the init function, which we just did. We need to do the load and the save. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, so then when we go to save this, Where's this at? Save data. Okay, right here. So save data. Loop through the planets. So planet grid size type index temp right planet right here. Okay, so let's just put it right here. And this is a it's five vector threes. So we can copy this. We can just copy that down here. save the planet palette. Say that five times, ten times fast or whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to save the planet palette here. Floop. Put that in there. Okay, so what is this? This is a vector 3. So we have to load a vector 3 attempt. Uh, let's just say each palette equals points, no it doesn't, equals, this is uh, planet info, pi index temp, there we go, dot palette sub j. Okay, and then each, each palette will be written, and there we go. So, so far so good. So far so good. Loop through the planets, read, read, okay, uh, read this. This is loading, does it not get the, um, Set PI index TG params. Oh, okay. So the number of moons won't be next, it'll be right here. Don't ask me why I didn't do this sooner, because I don't know. So, okay, the what do we have to do? zombie killer will said, hey guys. Zombie, what up? Yes, zombie. Let's do it. 
<laughs> What's happening? Zombie. Programmer Jeff said, link to coding game. Link to coding game. What's that? Everybody join. <clears throat> I think I'm still on C++ here. Oh, oh. String line one. Why did they do this? Okay, they do that just to trigger me. <laughs> um, 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 um. Assuming that loads, I won't have to do my own. <laughs> Different methods to reverse a string. Ah. It doesn't have a limit on ChatGPT4 anymore, so... Standard template library. Ah. Oh. But is it a string now? Standard string? Oh. So let's try it. <coughs> Excuse me. Line 2. L2 equals... What do you have to do? Or no, STD reverse. So can I just use the word reverse because... Or do I have to qualify it with STD reverse? It's still giving me the squiggle. Hmm. Hey, the AR's in there. So what is it? L2.begin? L2.end? So do I have to set it equal to reverse? No, it actually reverses the string. Okay, so that works. So then what we want to do is go... Oh, it's, uh, okay. Can we do that? Okay, so then we just want to go... I think we got it. Very nice. 
Oh, dude, use C++. What up, dude? Uh, oh, you wrote your own. Very nice. Oh, didn't have to reverse it or anything. Cool. Very, very nice. Oh, okay. All right, so this loads a vector three here. Reinterpret cast char pointer address of points. Okay, so we just want this to be planet info. Does it not load anything for planet info here? There we go. So let's see. Uh, that should keep the. Let me see if this works. See if I broke it. Hopefully it didn't break. <coughs> okay, so let's go to our first planet here. That one looks weird. <laughs> Did it light up? Yeah, it lit up. Okay. So G, B. Okay, so is this going to change if I go away? Oh, I hit the B. Okay, hold on. I hit B, and then what does it call when I hit B? Because that just changed the palette. B, 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 B. I think it's because... Oh, I actually tell it to initialize the palette. Wait a minute. Wait, but when it gets the palette... Um... So we just don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> However, what we do need to do is when the blocks, okay, let's change that to 40, because I'm gonna break it. Gonna break it. And then this one will go up here, hold on. Okay, we already did those. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're also going to update it the way the palettes are gotten. <laughs> the way they're gotten. I was about to look again to remind myself what the task was, but I don't want to cheat it or nothing. What's in it? Block data V. Oh. Okay, so again, when we call the B, when we hit the B, the function, where are we at? Where's the B? I made a big crock pot of beans last night before bed and they were finished this morning, well this afternoon when I woke up, had some beans, took an hour nap, not really a nap, but kind of just laid down for an hour, woke up and had some coffee, that's where we're at. <laughs> so block and knit palette, um, I think that really needs to change, because what we need to do is actually... get the palette from the planets because they're generated and saved in here <coughs> excuse me i put the microphone away for that but i don't think it helps but just wanted to qualify that with i tried <laughs> 
get planets 150. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we have the function, well, let's look at it. Block init palette right here. Okay, so it's just generating the random. Okay, so it does generate random each time. So why don't we do this? Why don't we take that out? Actually, let's just change, since it's all right here and I can see everything, let's just change it to block set palette. What am I doing? Set palette. Set palette. Oops. Okay, so when we set the palette, do we want to, do we, are we going to... It's literally five. It's five. Vec it's an array. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's an array of five vector threes. Can you send that through? So can I get that? I know I can do that. I think I just want to make sure. With okay, let's go into here. to do is declare it as a pointer. That's it. Oh, okay. That's way easier than I was thinking. All right. So we want to declare the function as a pointer of vector threes. And then when we send, okay. Accessor method to get a reference to the array. Right. That's all we need is a reference to the beginning of the area. Okay. So, let's go in here. So, planets. So, it's a GLM. Vector 3 pointer. Get palette. A GLM vector three planets one get palette. Get palette array? What why is there squiggly? I don't know yet. We'll find out. So all we want to do is return. Oh, we need an index for the planet. Actually, don't we have the current planet index set? How do we know what planet we're on? PL pick. Hmm. I'll be right back. <coughs>
It's super foggy here today. Super foggy, like it's so foggy. It's probably really hot inland, that's why. Okay, what happened, what happened, what I miss, what I miss? AR gave up or didn't get it? What happened? I was waiting. We were waiting. Do another one. Programmer Jeff said, link to coding game. Link to coding game. Hey, we still got zombie. Woohoo! Got went and got some orange juice. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Why does it say that? So do we put in the... Oh, alphabetical order it says. So can we go like this, char1, c1 equals n1 sub 0, okay, then we go n1, can we just swap it out like this, <laughs> equals n2, 0, then we go n2, 0, equals C1. Can we do that? Okay. Wait, what did that say? Hold on. Couple name generator vowels split after first non-opening vowel? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Whoops. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> so 
Split after first non-opening vowel. Non-opening vowel? What is a non-opening vowel? What's an opening vowel? <laughs> I have no idea. Whale, do you know? Tom or Katie becomes Cam, so it swaps the first two letters. Gertrude, and that one swaps the first two letters. Andy or Sky. Sorrow or Zanji? I don't know. That one swaps the first two letters. This one swaps the first. So what is it that indicates that you swap the first two letters? What is it? This one, there's no swap of the letters, but they're alphabetized. Couple name generator vowels equals A E I O and U. Specifically, not Y, because Sky split after the first non opening vowel. Non opening meaning opening at the beginning of the word. See, because this one there's none. Split, too, so, hmm. I think I know what it is, but I really don't think I know how to code it. So we'll wait, excuse me, we'll get a little bit, but yeah, 33%, we'll wait for whale. Oh, he got 33% too. <laughs> the zombie killer we decided at the same time. WTF. I know, what was that, dude? The I, zombie killer will sit. I should have gotten 100% LUL. Me too, man. <laughs> no, I think it was non-opening vowels so it means I don't know was that comment in your code because I had that comment in my code it said non-opening vowel like see oh it did say split after first non-opening vowel so the first vowel that wasn't at the beginning of the word is that what that means I don't know I'm not sure dude we got gypped you got more gypped than I did because... The zombie killer will <laughs> said, I am confused because I was passing all of the test cases. Oh. See, that's a report. I was legit only going to get 33% and I knew it. <laughs> Lucky Programmer I got up to 33%. Said, Link to coding game. <laughs> I would report that one and put a little incident with the clash or whatever they call it. I had an issue with the clash. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. So the palette area, yeah, we need to know which planet we're on, too. Usually we're on Earth, however. Isn't that crazy global? Ah. So there it is. Wait, 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 wait. What in the world?
A zombie killer will said, I think I see it, don't give up for this clash. <laughs> you know me too well, I was just, you didn't see my facial expressions, but you might as well have, right? <laughs> zombie killer will said if you want a hint let me know i think it has to do with the appearance of duplicates because there's a g and there's a g and there's a one and then the next one comes after the duplicate the zombie killer will said, yes you're right <laughs> okay then i won't get it <laughs> but what did you do dude look at this Replace that with that. Thief. Oh, look at that. Collections. Dude. Whoa. Ah. Dude. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, man. How did you do that? <laughs> Programmer Jeff said, link to coding game. I might just look at this one and I'm going to work on my game. But we'll see. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. All right, I got it. Hold on. The zombie killer will said, I've done this one before. I think I have too. The zombie killer will said, GG. Nice. Keep going. Programmer Jeff <laughs> said, link to coding game. Three. Oh. Oh boy, there we go. Probably won't do that one. 
I'll think about it though. As I think about this, uh, block set palette. So in here, when we call the get palette array, let's go like this. Uh, what solar one? Ah. Excuse me. <coughs> and we'll send in crazy global. That's the uh, computer. Get palette array, crazy, crazy global, solar, so in here. So this one is just going to be, isn't it going to be a pointer? Yeah. So we need to return, where's chat GPT now? Return my array, we just... No, no address of or anything, just my array. So we want to return planet info. Oh, and I didn't specify. The zombie killer will said, I'm done playing clashes for now. Cease at three is for wave. Cool, dude. Did you get the last one? Cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that one. <laughs> Are you heading out? Programmer Jeff said, laughing face <laughs> well thanks for stopping by good zombie seeing killer you will said, yeah I'm headed out all right a zombie killer will said see you later season three is for wave <laughs> for sure I don't know how many times I'm gonna be on today or if I'm just gonna do one long stream or what I'm gonna do we'll see we'll see what I feel like let's see planet info PT dot palette there. So that is the pointer. Okay, cool. So save that. So whoops. So in here this get palette array that gets this returns a pointer to the array. So then if I go to here, and we go set palette, and then we pass this in, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, so then we set the palette by sending in the pointer to the array. <laughs> Block set palette. So then when I'm receiving it here, isn't it GLM vector three pointer? Yeah. And then here it's GLM vector three pointer. Uh, and then each one of these, the palette is gonna equal so bye. I think that'll work. We may have broken it. Uh oh. Won't even compile. Block in it. Oh, that's the beginning. Uh, initially, we don't need to do that because we're not going to start on a planet, but we do need to initialize everything else here. Everything else here. Okay. Initially, we don't need to do that. Because we initially, the palette is just, yeah. Okay, we didn't break anything. We got the mouse, okay, good. And there we go, so we're going to land. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I don't see any, I didn't see any, 
Yeah, okay, so that's not working. So again, what happens when we hit the B key? Just verify. So when we hit the B key, we get the terrain, the PGen equals get terrain parameters for the global. Space blocks, set palette, get palette array, please be the global. Yeah. It is becoming increasingly difficult to manage these two classes together. I mean, is this the way it's supposed to be? Is this the way it's supposed to be? Block set palette, and then I send in this. So get palette array returns a pointer. Another class, update array, oh. My class object. Wait, 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 what? Oh, you send a uh, address of the object and then you call the get array function with that. Here, my class has an array of five objects and provides a method get array that returns a pointer to the first element of the array. Another class has a method update array that takes a reference to a my class object and uses get array to access the array and update it. Oh. So, you can do that. <laughs> so let's just take an a address of the object there. All right. So we just have to change that a little bit. So block set palette. So block set palette, we want to receive. Another class update array and my class address of and then the object. So my class address of class my class. Okay, so what I want this to be is an object, or, uh, one of these planets one. So it's going to be a planets one. It's going to be a reference to the planets object. So let's just say. Uh, well, whatever. Let's just say OBJ. See OBJ. Okay, and then right here, because we just need to change this to a planets. Planets one. Is that how we declare it? And then in here, we're going to use the reference to the plant to the object. See OBJ. And then we'll just call the get palette array function. But then when we do that, okay, and then uh, and that should return the pointer to the okay. So does this have to be an address of, or is it? So when I declare this update array address of object. Is that why it's squiggly? I don't... Ah, okay, so that's why. So then down here... See, because this is... Yeah. 
So we want to copy it over. We want to get a we want to get a pointer to the array and then just copy the colors over. So let's do that. Get palette. So in this object, in the planets one, we need to create a function. What we were just doing, get pal <coughs> excuse me, what we were just doing, get palette array. What we actually want to send is a reference to we want to send a pointer to that, right? That's all we want. So planet info pt palette. That's a pointer, so that's still right. We just need to send the index to the planet. So once we have that reference to the object, so then do we go like this? Um, because the So we need another GLM vector3 pointer temp temp uh, array to equal C OBJ get palette array. Okay, and then that one are we sending in get palette array? It needs the pointer to the yeah. So in here do we have, we don't have a variable that tells us what color or what planet we're on, right? No, because it's just the block. Okay, so get palette array. Well, that's not good. <laughs> so we would need a separate function to set the current planet in the planet's area, in the planet's object, before we make that function call. Okay, so we can do that when we do B, get terrain params, because crazy global, we just need to send crazy global into the space box. Ugh, <laughs> such a mess, such a mess. Mm -hmm. So we just need to send the crazy global into, so set current planet, space blocks one, set current planet, crazy global. Okay, so in here, we're going to make another function, void, set, wait, what did I just call it? Blocks one, set current planet. Okay. I call it. Alright, set. Did I leave the underscore or set current plan all one? So then we're just going to have a variable in here called current planet. Just like that. Okay, so that will set that. So then when we get here, we don't have to worry. You get palette area. And we're just going to send current planet index. Okay, so that will reference the planet, send the array to the palettes into the temp A, and then we cycle through here. Sheesh, we go temp A sub I. Does that work? Now what are we doing? So now we're not doing this, right? Set current planet. Ba, 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 da, da. Okay, let's change the music here. <clears throat> let's try some door fortress. Computer. 
I don't know who those people are. That's funny. Okay, so what did I do now? Okay, so set current planet. And then we just need to do what? Block set palette and send a reference to the planet's object. So then, what are we doing? Uh, isn't it, um, how do we send like that? Hold on. So update array, my object, class, so solar one, that's it. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. I not even compile. Oh. 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 Is it working? Well, the loading seemed to work. That's cool. Oh, I don't know that anything was right. We need to delete the data file starter. All right, hold on. Does it have the data file here? Oop. Okay, so starting all over. I don't know. Is this, shouldn't that work? Oh, there we go. So if I hit B, oh, it works. It saved the palette, but it did not. Okay, so then does the loading and saving work as well? Let's load it back up. See if you get the same colors from the same planet now. No, we get no colors. It doesn't show. Okay, so the thing that's wrong is because, why? <laughs> so it loaded everything else, but it didn't load the palette for the planet? I'm confused. Set palette. <laughs> yeah, it's not showing anything. Nothing. Okay. Here? Other planet? Oh. So it showed it right the first time when it didn't have the data file. So does that mean that the, what does that mean? The initialization works, but not the load? Maybe the, so the initialization works and it keeps the planet palettes the way I think it does, but the loading doesn't. So we hadn't verified that the loading worked before anyways. I just jumped right into this, so. Okay, so let's look at the loading. Make sure that works. So where are we at? Planets load. Planet info. SS index? That's not right though. It's not going to be SS index. It's going to be I. That would be why. <laughs> okay, moving on. I think that'll do it now. I think that'll do it now. So let's go to the first planet. Yeah, there we go. And it's the same palette. Okay, cool. So does it work with other the other planets, all of them. Yeah. So this one's that color. I don't even know if I'm going to remember. Let's go out and come back in. We may have gotten it. We may. Hey. So wing. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have that done. Phew. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, so save load planet palette for each planet. Done. Okay, before we break it, moving on. We're moving to the next version now. Two, three, seven, bada boom. 
box 141. Bada boom. Class planets 151. Bada boom. Okay, let's write all that down. Write all that down, Jeff. Never done before coding. Actually, I think I've done that before, but it's just been such a long time. It really has been such a long time. Like the last time I sent a reference to an object was when they first put objects into C++, so. Hey, Shunny, say that in my good ear. Okay, so those are the new files. We haven't done anything with them yet, but Move up to saving solar systems. Okay, and comment the code. We've been doing that. That's just a good reminder. Get warp zones working plus randomize their look. Okay, so I think these two things go hand in hand, except for randomize their look. Um, that's the easy one. This is the easy part. <laughs> and once we get up to saving solar systems, we can actually get into... Actually, we can do trading right now. If we put trading on each separate planet. So we don't really need to move into solar systems and moving to different solar systems and creating different solar systems because we already we have the engine to do that okay so maybe what we could do is let's let's uh, randomize warp zones look and then we'll just jump right up to the trade mechanic so that's going to be like the GUI, that's going to be the, uh, the economy, calculations. Are we going to actually start to include real time? Real time. And then farming and stuff, basic farming. Okay, cool because we need to get it up to a demo level where I can actually consider listing it on Steam. Okay, I feel, I feel good about that. So let's go to, really quickly, uh, let's go to a break. <laughs> I know, there's a, there's a good, there's a good, um, I had, hold on, down here somewhere. Where was that one, VS Clone? So I don't actually have it on here. But where, where, I thought it was in here. Hold on, let me do one more. We can just load this. Come back to 237. I don't even know what these are. Main space planets too, let's try that. <laughs> Existing main space planets two. <clears throat> oh, 
There we go. Yeah, the ship parts, the super shapes, the asteroids. Aha. Uh -huh. And the planets.
world. Okay, I have an idea. And, okay. I have an idea. We'll come back to Clash of Code. So let's go into here. Let's write the idea down here. Because it ties directly into this. So. So those, okay. Okay, so I like that idea a lot. I just didn't want to forget it. <laughs> Alright, I'm still chilling. I'll be right back. I'm going to do some of that stuff. We're going to figure it out. We're going to make the planets bigger. We're going to make the star bigger. The moons are going to be bigger. I don't know what we're going to do with the moons. We're going to keep them, whatever, but we'll see.
Rankinen!
Okay, nobody's here. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried. It's just too cold or too hot. I'm gonna wait until later to stream more because I'm just, I'm literally sweating. I just started bread, I made juice and yeah. So I'll see you later. I'll be back on later.